Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. Thanks for joining me in another episode of Do More with Click Tips and Tricks Edition. In this episode, we're going to go through creating a background for a KPI that looks like a line chart. And I got this request recently within the community and I figured I'd create a quick video to show you how that's done. So let's just go right into the sheet and you can see we have some KPIs. They're basically the same, slightly different formatting, but you can see the ones across the top have a line chart indicating number of orders, sales, and profit. So it gives it a nice styling. It also kind of combines the different metrics to be displayed, showing you some of the trends. In this case, it's a composite KPI because we're using a layout container to house two components, a line chart and a KPI. So let's just jump right into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our assets panel and I'm going to navigate to our custom objects and we're going to grab the layout container. And in the layout container, I'm just going to size it like this appropriately for now. And then we're going to add a piece of content and I'm just going to look for KPI. And I'm going to choose KPI and then we're going to add measure and we're just going to choose sales. And there's our sales. Next. I'm just going to push that to the side. I'm going to go over to the panel on the right. We're going to add another piece of content. And here we're going to search for line chart. And you can resize everything appropriately if you need it. Here we're going to put in our order date. And for this measure, we're also going to use sales. Okay, so now at this point, it's about layering and just turning off all of the properties. So when you are in a layout container, you select the object, you right click, choose edit properties, and then you go over to the property, in this case appearance, so we're going to turn off titles, uncheck show hover menus, turn off show details, and then we're going to go to our presentation, and we can change it to a line or an area. In this case, I'm going to make it an area so we can have that nice fill in the background. We're going to turn off our mini charts. Where it says missing values show as gaps, we can leave that alone because th the secret is also going to be turning off the uh, continuous access as well in this case. So we're going to go to our grids and line spacing and we're going to make that no lines. We're going to go to our X axis for the order date and you can see continuous. We're going to turn that off and where it says use continuous scale, we uncheck use continuous scale. Labels and title, we're going to choose none. And we're going to do the same thing for um, the Y axis, labels and title. We're going to choose none. And then we can just leave it alone just like that for now. So let's go out of edit mode. And you can see basically we have our chart as shown. So now we're going to just order this chart. So we're going to right click on the chart and select reorder chart layers. And we're going to choose send to back. Okay, and then we're just going to adjust appropriately. And then for the KPI, select that object, right click, edit properties, and we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to shut off the hover menu here. The titles is already shut off. We're going to leave pretty much the standard KPI tile, but, but what we can do is now go into styling and we're going to choose background color where it says single. We're going to choose the transparency. And then when we go into the styling of that object, it's sometimes keep in mind, if you kick, click off an object, you might have to right click and select edit properties again, just to make sure you're back on that object. Cause it might think that you are looking at the sheet properties. So now we're going to turn off the border. So here we'll just choose zero pixels and then just adjust the object appropriately as such. We could size it, make it bigger, make it smaller, pretty much, you know, at this point, it's really personal preference on how you want this to display in your object. And then you could adjust the container as such. If you want to enlarge the container, but leave your object the same, hold down your shift key, and then you can enlarge your container. And then you could lasso both of these objects and then resize appropriately as well or just choose a single object and resize it as needed. 
And that's pretty much it. If you want to add some shadows or you want to add some corners for the particular object, in this case, we're looking at the line chart, edit properties, styling, you can make the border slightly bigger. I'll just make it darker just to give it some definition. Corner radius, just make it a little bit more defined so you can see what I'm talking about. And then shadow, sometimes you want to do like maybe a little extra small shadow. Now you have your object, just like we had above. And then at this point, you can right click and select duplicate. Right click, select duplicate. And then you would go in the properties and then you would just change your data to the new object. So if here we're looking for orders. I'm just gonna type in total and see if orders is a master item, is order date. Yeah, so we can just do something like count distinct uh, order ID. And now we have our orders and then we can change the properties for the label. And you can see I'm just quickly kind of going through this to kind of give you the idea. And then you would do the same thing for the line chart. I'm gonna just unlink the sales master and then do the same thing here. We're gonna say count distinct order ID. And there we go. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Basically just to create like a composite chart, in this case here also using that chart as a background for your KPI. So this could be called like a composite KPI if you wish. And then these objects can be moved around as such to create that dashboard that you're looking for. And then ultimately, let's just go to one that I have defined already. And there you go. Gives it a nice style, but also is informative at the same time. Okay, so if you have any comments or questions, please ask them where this video is posted and I will see you on the next video. Take care.